643 this morning. This is a loop over the last 12 hours. Not only did we see storms, but as expected, there were storms to our north as well, and they were a little bit stronger to our north. Fortunately, uh, no reports of damaging hail or damaging wind in the valley, but there was a little bit of hail. When we zoom in a little bit closer, uh, you can see how, uh, as expected, the storms rolled into Star County first, uh, and we did get one severe thunderstorm warning for Central Star County. And then just when we thought everything was just about over with, uh, some more storms came in from the southeast, and one blew up just to the west of Reynosa, and then it started to lose strength as it moved over the valley, but it produced some very heavy rain and frequent lightning, and uh, this is one of the things that was dropping in Reynosa. Rosie sent us this picture uh, from Reynosa, and you can see this is not the hail that will do damage, but marble-sized hail, nickel-dime-sized hail, and we got some reports of that even as the storm crossed the border into Hidalgo, uh, but then it just transitioned to very heavy rain, lots of lightning as the storm worked farther to the east around uh, Alamo uh, and in towards Wesco, and ultimately the storm moved over the Harlingen area. You might have heard some lightning that woke you up and seen some lightning in the sky, but that's all come to an end now. The rain is all offshore. The cold front is offshore and drier air is already moving in here. The clouds are already in the process of breaking up, and I do think that uh, many of us are going to be starting out with partly cloudy skies, a little bit cloudier towards the coast, and we'll be seeing all Already, I think some decent sun in the upper valley and tell you what by about one o'clock this afternoon I think it's just gonna be blue skies for everyone uh, there's that dry air still settling in and then we're gonna be seeing a lot of the sun in the days ahead notice this evening clear skies expected some clouds are gonna attempt to move back in here it looks like late tonight and early tomorrow morning but uh, I think high pressure winds out and we say sunny and really it looks sunny throughout the day tomorrow now both today and tomorrow we're looking at highs and low 90s but consider that the humidity is going to be low. That's going to make a big difference. So it's not going to feel as hot as you might think, considering that the low humidity is going to be low for us. Uh, Friday evening plans looking good. Still clear skies expected. Not going to be that breezy either. Uh, so things are looking pretty good. And even into the weekend, not too bad. 92 today. Technically, yes, we're warmer today, even though a cold front's come through. But the humidity is going to be a lot lower, so probably going to feel about the same as yesterday. We had upper 80s and high humidity yesterday. Today, low 90s and low humidity, so it'll be about the same. Skies will become sunny for the afternoon. Winds are not going to be very strong, unlike yesterday afternoon. Uh, we're only going to see winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour this afternoon. 62 for our low tonight. Again, with low humidity, clear skies will be cooling down, and it'll be cool uh, to start the day tomorrow morning. But guess what? We're going to be warming right back up. Looking ahead to the weekend, sunny skies expect on Saturday. Maybe a few wispy cirrus clouds around, but uh, not any significant cloud covered. Now the humidity is still comfortable for Saturday, but by the time we get to Sunday, it's not going to be terrible humidity, but I think it'll be the kind of humidity that you start to notice again. Still looking like a mostly sunny day. It's going to be breezy again on Sunday. Highs around 91. I tell you what, though, by the time we get to next Tuesday, the humidity is going to be back in full force. Notice we start at 75 and then wind up in the mid-90s. Yeah, that's going to be feeling a little bit summer-like. But until then, not too bad. Uh, but this entire seven-day forecast is looking dry for you. Well, more news right after this break.